In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to apply a pen style and then how to edit that pen style that we've applied as either some text or some curves. Now, a pen style is like an outline around the edge of our curves. So if I click on this here and I want to apply a pen style, what I need to do is I can come over to our colors over here and if I right click on any of these colors, that will apply a pen style to this shape here or this, this text here and it will also apply it in the color I've selected. So for example, if I make it this blue color, you can see how it's applied a pen style to this text here. And if I zoom into it, and let's say we make the fill yellow and the pen red, you can really clearly see this pen style going around the edge of our curves here, or of the, our text here. Now, now that I've created a pen style, I might want to actually make it a little bit thicker. So I select the text here, and I get this tool here, this pen fly out, and I get a pen width. I can make, say, make it thinner, and as you can see, it's made it nice and thin or I might want to make it say medium or thick. I can also numerically control the pen style here by clicking this up and making it thinner. So I can adjust the thickness of the pen style quite easily using these tools here. I've also got some advanced tools and I can change the, the, um, the pen style corners and whether it's above or below etc. So for example if I wanted to send the, the pen style below, I click this onto on and you can see the pen style is now below the edge of our text here. And if I turn it off again, it's now equidistant from the edge of our text to the in, inside of the pen style and to the outside of the pen style. So it's, that's, these are some of the controls we've got here. Now you can apply a pen style equally to text as you can to curves. And I've just got these curves here in the shape of this bird here. And if I make this say yellow, I can apply a pen style much the same as I did before by just right clicking on that like that and just undo that. Objects are a little bit different, you get different tools in the second row of tools here. So if I click on this drop down here and I click on this say this uh, line style here, you can see it applies it there like that. And I can also do the same, I'll just undo that from there, from this fly out here where I actually apply a pen style like that. And it just automatically applies it there in the default colour which is black. Now if I zoom in here, I'll show you some other tools you've got with pen style which are really important to know about. Let's make that pen style red. You can see how the corner style of the pen here is like a rounded corner style. I've got this item selected so if I click on this fly out here, come down to these advanced tools, I can say make that a mitered edge as you can see there. Or I can change that to say a um, round edge or corner style or I can make it smooth or back to normal again. So I can control the look of my pen style as well as the thickness of the pen style and whether it's above or below the actual curve object. So there's some of the controls I've got. Another thing is pen style is a fixed size. So at the moment it's say 4 point, we'll just make that 4 point. As you can see, and if I make this uh, object smaller, you can see the pen style stays at 4 point. Now we won't always want that to happen. So what we can do is we can actually set it to elastic mode by clicking on this button up here, this elastic mode button. And now when I resize this object, you'll see the pen style will automatically resize and scale to the object size, and now it's 1.3 point. So it's an important thing for you to know that tool there. It can be quite handy for these sort of situations where you're changing the size of an object and you don't want to have to change, physically change the size of the pen style. Other things we can do with the pen style is actually affect the line style. So for example, I could make this like a dotted line going around here, as you can see. Okay, or a solid line like we had. Okay. Now what I want to do is I'll go to page 3 here. I've created these couple of curves here. This is just standard curves, standard line, standard curve. Other things you can do is actually apply an end cap. So if I come up here, I can actually make an end cap like that. And there's a whole selection of these here as you can see. You have hundreds of them to choose from. So there's plenty of end caps that you can apply there. I can apply the line style here as so. Now the reason why this is popping into the centre is because while I'm recording this screen it won't actually fit it out on the right hand side so it pops it to the centre. In a normal screen view this will just pop out uh, up below like it does here on this because this actually fits in on this side. Um, so I can change the uh, any to any of these sorts of different types of um, line styles and I can apply an end cap this way for example like that and I can create any sort of effect I want. Again I can change the size, the thickness, I can do things like change the colour and I can change the pen style to whatever I want. And the same applies to a straight line, exactly the same thing. So I can make that a dotted line, I can give that a pen style, an end cap like that, 
and I can give it an end cap like this. And as I increase the thickness of this line, you'll see the end cap automatically increases in size with it so that they're relevant to each other or related to each other. So these are how these are the sorts of things we can do with our line styles and um, or pen styles and there's lots and lots of options. One last thing I just want to quickly show you is if I wanted to cut this object out with this uh, with this pen style here, I'll leave it at say 1.5 point. If I send this to my cut file by clicking on this button here, you'll see that it ignores the pen style. So if I want to be able to cut the pen style, I need to convert the pen style to curves, and that's a very easy thing to do. So if you come up to this button here, you go to advanced, you can click on pen to curves here, uh, from the objects, convert pen to curves, from the flyout here, pen to curves. So if I click on that, you'll see that it automatically converts or it has converted it, it's black now because that's the default colour, this pen style to curves now. So these are separate. I can move them off as you can see. And now when I send this to my cut file, you can now see that I've got my pen has come in like this. Actually I'll select both of those. So you can see that it's automatically colour separated. So there's my default curves, or my curves that I actually had in yellow, and there's the pen style I've just created in black. And if I select on that there, and I can zoom in, and you can see here how it's converted that pen style. So it's now cuttable. So when I cut that, it'll just cut that out as an actual pen style. So I can create pen styles and print them, and I can create pen styles and cut them. And that's pen styles in the end of this lesson.